Yeah, I was going to um, set up the whole thing and do an overhead from uh, the normal vantage point, but uh, the reality is I think it's best to look at it from this perspective, uh, the way I you know, figured out how to do all the rail. But I'll go from the other bit first, and uh, the major decision I made, and I think you know, it's well, a pretty rash one or a risky one or whatever you want to call it, but um, all 20 supply points are going to go to the 3rd Army and the 5th Army. All of them. Uh, I'm not sending any supply points. God almighty, imagine what Red and Camp must be thinking. After over a month trying to get the 10 supply points there and all this crazy nonsense. But in a weird way, it worked out for him because uh, they've wiped out so many German troops and a lot of cavalry that... Um, you know, we're bothering them. So, in a, but still, he must be pissed beyond belief. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm sick. Of, I can, I'm not going to go down this road of uh, spreading all my supply points uh, too thinly. I know it's not the same. Well, maybe in a weird way. Uh, you know, I'm thinking about Cadorna and uh, the Italian front. And I just finished reading the fourth uh, Battle of the Asanzo. And even though he started cluing in, supposedly, I guess, on the third battle that you shouldn't be spreading your forces too thinly, um, you know, to make an offensive or whatever. He still supposedly couldn't help himself and even, you know, sent off a few divisions or whatever to go do something else. And uh, they were thinking at the time, if he pot potentially didn't do that, he could have, you know, it could have tipped the balance. And uh, that's why I want to do the third Battle of the Asanzo, actually. And I'd love to see if a game, uh, some game system has it out there. Uh, Dravel Krieg doesn't. And it was also like I think I mentioned um, with Brejevich sending in the this crack uh, uh, brigade or battalion that kind of saved the day. Or anyways, so I'll give you the context of what the hell's going on here. And I think I managed. I'm pretty shocked because remember, um, Russians don't have it easy compared to the Germans. They're not allowed to use uh, two divisions. Um, you know, on the single tracks. So I had to be a little bit creative, and I'm sorry, uh, yet again, I'm breaking the rules. Um, I'm allowing the Russians to use the upper map, which you're not supposed to, or it's not part of the, um, you know, scenario, but I'm like, oh, for crying out loud, we're playing a link thing anyways, and the, the map exists, for goodness sakes, like, come on, this is getting silly business. So uh, that's the way I'm doing it. So the 10 supply points... They're actually, uh, these guys here are actually in there, excuse me, but um, I, I just wanted to, you know, show uh, show the differentiation. So I did count everything, so everybody's okay. Um, everything that's moving is allowed to move at one-tenth. Uh, the supply points are allowed to because they, uh, they move like an infantry division, and so do the, oh, hold on here. I'll have to check the replace uh, the three three. There are three three, the uh, the replacement units. Okay, so that could be a different story. Okay, hold on here. I forgot about that. It's a three three. They're not fours. Uh huh. Um. So that the yellow is the. Shit! Did I miss one? No. The, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. The green was going to the green is the uh, three three replacement unit uh, division, and they're going to go and help out the first army. That's all I'm giving them. Okay, okay, okay. Now I remember. Whew. So the five supply points here are going to take this train, uh, this rail unit, to get to fifth army, and it makes it no problemo. The ten supply points had to go this, and like I said, I had to keep an eye on. Single track, double track, like, you know, wh which way it was going. But I, d I did manage. I'm pretty surprised. Okay, I have to check the blue one here. Uh, okay, no, we're good. I'll just say that the blue is the 3-3 three, three replacement unit going to Lublin or whatever, uh, or however it's pronounced. So they'll go this way. And then the red guy goes around. See? Anyways, that's that. I feel like... um. I don't know, like I said, I feel like uh, whatever, but yet again, I have to play this at two levels if you want to look at it that way. I've got to play it um, from their level, like how do you distribute the resources 
to get the strategic objectives done. And these guys can cry all they want, but uh, I actually did have a side thing, but it doesn't matter anyways. I was going to um, allow each army commander to um, make their notes or their case on an index card, you know, saying why they needed supply points. But sorry, not going to happen. Uh, these guys got four, remember? Uh, Salsa and the fourth army. They've got four, so they're just going to have to rely on their strength points. I'm sorry. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens because uh, I know that I was starting to sway that way. I was gonna, I was starting to figure out all kinds of ways of trying to get strength points over here to do something. I'm like, nope. So everything is going to be concentrated on nailing Lemberg for the entire month. That's all I'm going to do. And everybody else is just going to have to hunker down and hope for the best. I have no bloody clue. Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I, um, yeah, I want to see how this is going to play out, obviously. All right. Hope you're having a good one.